folks and welcome back. Today what we're going to do is we're going to make a uh, coffee table. It's going to be, it's going to have a river running through it, so he's going to call it a river uh, coffee table. So let's get started. Now first what we're going to do is we're going to route out the bottom of this three quarters of an inch so that we can insert in a half inch and three quarters so we're going to route it out to about one and a quarter actually so let's see let's get let's get started one and a quarter yeah that should do it so here we go now the first board that we have here actually this is going to be the first one it's cut at 12 inches so what we're going to do is going to space this out so that we got 12 inches, it's going to be right about something like that. So this is going to be about 17 and just, uh, just about a half. It's going to be about 17 and a half also. About 17, 17 and a half right there. First make sure that both your ends are exactly flush. Something like that. Check both sides just to make sure. Now if you'll notice, this is a little bit shorter than this. There's a reason for that. I'll explain that later as we go along. Make sure we have a pencil handy. Now then, we can use the same piece as a guide. Since you have these uh, live edge corners here, or edges I should say, we want something straight. Nail this on here temporarily, of course. And I'm going to go something like this, but I want it to be uh, here. I want it closer to the edge here. So, what we're going to do is we're going to um, add another inch to that, another inch, and possibly an inch and two inches, go two inches. Make sure you wear some safety glasses, which are at the other end of the table. Actually, you know, I was going to use these glasses here. Now then, we're going to route this out. the rest of this uh, route it out what I have to do is I have to move this board <laughs> don't forget to pull your nails out
Now you've got to repeat this process two or three times. It's a little bit of work, but that's the best way to do it. So, don't forget these. Gotta make sure that everything is clean, no sawdust, so that we can put a dab of glue on here. So we've already wiped everything down. So let's proceed with the uh, the gluing and screwing. Don't be afraid to use glue. Use it liberally. And you can spread it a little bit. This board has been pre-drilled in place. We have to match up the little holes. And I drew some lines here to kind of guide me a little bit. This is where the little nails come in, come in handy. This is gonna make it fits in place. Make sure that you pre-drilled every hole. I just put these little fillers in here so that we uh, can clamp it down nice. set for about 10, 15, 20 minutes. Just a counter sinker. Just a counter sink so that the 
screw heads don't pop out. <laughs> time to kill we gotta wait about 10 about 15 minutes at least before this dries completely make sure you wipe off the excess glue now let's get ready for the second pour of this this dye is very uh, very concentrated so you'll need about one drop that's it a little dab will do you a tiny little drop and then you stir Voila, look at that, just one little drop, very concentrated stuff. Pick it up just a little bit because this will level itself out. You might check it as you go along to make sure that it, it is level, or as close to level as possible. best we can do now so I'm gonna leave it alone just leave it set that's just some tiny little bubbles we just leave it alone for about 15 minutes then we come back and just add a little heat to it make sure all the bubbles are gone leave it sit there for now we're done for now okay now that we've uh, Put the epoxy in its dry completely overnight. What we're going to do is we're going to shave some of this off to flatten out this top. Hopefully I can do all of that without touching that epoxy because it looks nice. I'd rather not have to sand it down if I don't have to. So we're going to get ready to get started. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Sometimes they work better when you plug them in. Yeah. Here we go. Maybe. Make sure you put these on for safety.
now that we got the legs made up, okay, I, I had already marked these where each leg goes, one on the left and one on the right, of course. Now let's put these uh, in place. Now then, these were marked uh, before we get started. a little river table small it's kind of hefty it looks pretty nice so there you go